morning guys April 4th 2023 so I've got a call from a guy I've worked for him before I think I had to go over there and cut some washing machine hoses off um, one of his washers he had uh, the washing machine hoses were all corroded on there and he couldn't get them off or I went over there and ground down the side of the hose and peeled it off and put new hoses on there for him um, he's got another washer in the basement that's uh, Sounds like he's got another one that's uh, have issues with the faucets leaking. So either I'm going to have to replace the faucets or fix those, or and also he said he's got an issue with one of the toilets. Um, not flushing properly all the time. Maybe it's a handle mechanism or a flapper chain might be an issue. I'm not sure. Church Street. Well. Uh, it's an older house, so we'll figure this stuff out when we get there. I should have what I need in the truck to fix it either way. So, this Molly is a nice day today. I know, Molly, I know. Pretty warm out today. I feel like 60 degrees today, so I'm going to have to try the AC out on this new truck, Molly. This truck does have air conditioning, so when I need it, I'll put it on. like the warmer weather. Well, you know, I'll be working on air conditioning units. Gas and goes. You gas and go, mama. Anyway, we'll try to get you some shots when I get over there. About 20 minutes away. Appalled by what this looks oh, like. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got a nice shut off right there. That'll work out fine. Yep. Got a pressure reducing valve. All right. We can do that. We could change them two valves. You said they were having a hard time shutting them off? We'll, yeah. put, we'll put two new ones on there. Yeah, that's three quarter. And it looks like that's half inch. It's three quarter, one's half inch. All right, let me get out what I need out of the truck. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I got three quarter and half inch. I might even use this style if I got them. I can. I'm gonna have three quarter and half inch in this style. There we go. It's three quarter, one's half inch. I think that's what this has got down there. We'll use them too. I could go this style, but that's probably better. Use them. I'm pretty sure one's three quarter and one's half inch down there. And this here, and let the water pressure out here. Make sure it shuts off before I go down there. No, I'm just going to leave these open and get the water because I got to change them two valves down there. Right. Just want to make sure the water shuts off. I don't want to flood, right? Right. We'll put a bucket down here and we'll catch the water, whatever comes out. I mean, I keep on going. I I do research and notes and things like that, and I can do that here. So I'm yeah. So as far as like working from to, yeah, I, you know, I can just work, do it on my own schedule. Yeah, working from eight to five. Yeah, or whatever your hours are. You don't have to worry about that now. That's right. I'm just gonna mark that this I one. Like. Just mark this one so I know what goes where, right? That'll be this one. You know. And that faucet did shut off upstairs, right? It did, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was just coming out of the dribble. Do you want me to check it? No, because, uh... 
as long as it shuts off we'll be good. It's just what's in the, the, the riser, the drop piece is right. what's going to leak out now. That's a ball valve, that should, thing should work nice and... Sure, that's three quarter. I mean, they don't they don't make these washing machines and dryers like they used to. Years ago, they last 25 years. That's it. Well, the other one lasted about 20 years, so that's not too bad. The washing machine, at least. Yeah, these new ones, I mean, you get five, six years out of them and they start giving you issues. Unless they're changing them uh, for well, the when better. They changed the model. I mean, we couldn't get the model we used to have. Yeah, now now it's more high tech, huh? Right. Are you following all this stuff that's going on with Trump, that they're indicting them and all this stuff? Uh, I'm not tied in with it uh, quite as well, but I, I do want to watch part of it this afternoon. 30 indictments, that's quite, that's quite a few. It sure is. I'm very they have, to see what they are. They might have caught him blowing his nose at, at the beach or something, <laughs> you know. And, or peeing on the shrubs. Could be. You know, yeah, 30. Be. That's a lot. Of, past him anyway. That's a lot. Of, that's quite a bit. I can take that up and empty it. Yeah, you got a place to empty it? I'll just throw it out. I got another bucket here anyway. Got a bigger, Bucket under there. I think good. we're good there. Right. Aren't you doing something yourself that's different? Didn't you work for a company and now you're working on your own or something? No, uh, I worked for the union when I first got in, you know, started out uh, 12 uh, years and then I've been on my own for, you know, 30. Oh, okay. So. Oh, I started this business and I'm the only guy that works here, so. Owner operator. Uh huh. Well, that's pretty satisfying, isn't it? Well, at least you know you're gonna get in the man right from the, the get go. Well, that's half inch. I'm gonna have to just do two half inch ones. That's half inch. That's old stuff, good stuff. They don't make shit like this anymore. Everything's all. Cheap, you know? Right. Made in China. Made in China. As Trump would say. I'm from China. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta get two half inch ones. You wanted brand new ones on there anyway, right? No, you said yeah, yeah. yeah. You're better off just go new. See I see how fat this hub is? I thought it was a three quarter one because the See the hubs oh, are yep, fat. Right. Yep, yep, yep. I, I, I got two half inch ones, so I just grab them. Yeah, okay. And I'm putting this style in, which is better. See? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me just go get one on the truck. A little bit of water on the floor, but ain't gonna. Oh, that's just fine. Don't worry about that. Robin? Yeah? 
There is an electric plug down here. Where? Just to the right of the fuse box. Yeah, but we don't have power. Well, you do. He's been using it. Really? That is wonderful news, Mom. At least I think so. He plugged it in. Is it, is it able to be fixed? Yeah, it's on his light. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got all the stuff. He's going to get the faucets now. It's not, a, it's not as hard as the last job when he had to saw, um, cut it off, right? Right. Yeah, a little water down here. I'm sure it's not the first time this floor has seen water. Right? Right. A little bit. Yeah, last time it, you, you were down at Smith Neck Road one, right over by where the gate is, right? That's right. You like this house better? Well, it's a winter house. The other house doesn't have any heat in it. Oh, okay. In, in the summertime, that's a great house. Oh, there's no heat. It's, it's, no, there's no heat. Well, it, was kind of, built, it was just built as a summer house. That's strictly a summer home. I'm surprised they never put heat in there. It wasn't worth it? Well, the, you know, the wood walls and all of it, it's very nice inside because it really it, it looks like an old house. You don't want to play around with it. I didn't want to turn it into some modern, yeah. you know, anonymous modern thing. Right. I mean, certainly not need two houses. Our children come in the summer and they... You know, they're not here during the winter, so. Well, I mean, you're only down the street, right? Right. I like Nonquil. A lot of lot places in Nonquil like that. Uh, no heat. And right. Strictly, like you said, just a summer. And, and on Soldier's Point, too, although a lot of those are being converted. No insulation, no nothing, just strictly a summer home. That's right. Can't do that anymore. It'd be just too expensive. Oh, they have two homes now. Well, no, a lot of people have been moving, moving there in retirement, deciding that's where they want to live. Yeah, things are different now, huh? Compared to the way they were back in the day. Yes, they are. You ain't kidding, right? In most ways. I bought my house back when I was a kid, you know, 18, 17, 18, you know. Oh. You try doing that now, you can't. And are you, are you in Westport or where are you, where do you live? Dartmouth. Oh, you do live in Dartmouth? Yeah, I live in Dartmouth. I live over by the, the college. Oh. UMass. Uh huh. I had your wife while she was up there. She shut off the kitchen faucet for us. So once we're done, we could turn the water back on. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I kind of feel bad for the young, the young does this uh, now. You know, everything, so much money and uh, rent and buying a house and everything's gone flipping crazy. Don't you think? Oh, I do. I do. No, it's very hard on them folks. Compared to where it was back in the day when we, you know, obviously you got me by a couple of years, but... Uh, almost. Wow. I can't go any tighter than that, can it? Doesn't look like there's going to be too much leakage there. No, it shouldn't be. Holy shit. Can you get that? Uh, I'll get that, yeah. Busting me up. Holy shit. There's a broom handle or something. I'll get it. Yeah, this is the one we put the marks on. You want to go turn the water on? Sure. You know how to do it? Oh, the uh, back here, you mean? Yeah, because she shut the faucet off yeah. already, so. Man, whacking my hand like that.
That's off on. That's not so much better. Dry events yeah. set up. It's just dumping out down here in the basement. The moisture, you know that. I do. Okay. Now this is on. That's on, right? And then that's off. Okay. Now these hoses have to be changed every couple of years because they're, oh, all right. you know, okay. keep an eye on them. Okay.